have any adjustments? I'll change this to the agenda. Mm. We can see or no. No. All right. I'll accept my motion to accept the minutes of both July 2nd and the special meeting July 11th to set the tax rate. So moved. Second. All right. Uh, any further discussion on either of those items? Corrections, additions? Uh, oh, very minor. Sure. They were, they were very quick. <laughs> That's your cue. Um, that was, yeah. that was about <laughs> no, just in the very first part, um, and I, I think we might have done it this way last time. What's that? That on the minutes, should the adjustment to the agenda come before the minutes? Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. just because I know this, these new rules or yeah. whatever. It was. The adjustment to the agenda comes after the acceptance? No. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. Yeah, no but on, yeah on, this, on this one, oh. it was just afterwards. Oh. And so it was just. Um, oh, I see. I don't know what stickers they are if we can have that type of stuff. But yeah. Well, it should be in the order that we're. Six months probation the first class. <laughs> I was trying hard to find something. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe on the next right. one, because that's and one I kind of put together. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Biz. We have a conservation commission appointment. We, we do. We have, and uh, this is Allison Baum, who has volunteered, having responded to outreach by Cynthia and Laura, to join us. <coughs> She's more qualified than most of us. <laughs> As you can see from the letter that you got, she's got a uh, Bachelor of Science in Wildlife, Fisheries, and Conservation Biology, an MS in Biodiversity in Informatics, informatics, organizing information. We can always use that too. Um, and so we're very delighted to recommend her, and we think she'll be a great member. Excellent. Great. I'll make a motion that we that we uh, appoint Allison as a conservation commissioner. Is it? It's a three year term. I don't know what the current vacant term is. It's Jackie Walker's stock. And she just got, I think it's a three year term. Okay. Well, yeah. we'll make sure that that's mm -hmm. in there. Okay. She, she was on Okay. I'll second that. All right. It's been moved and seconded. And we're nominated. Awesome, Bob, as our new account, a new member of the conservation department. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Welcome okay. aboard. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. And best of luck. Thank you. <laughs> better back roads. Yeah. We're always looking so, yeah. for better back roads. So, um, Brian and I have talked about, we have a culvert inventory. One of the things that we wanted to do was do, to do a complete road inventory and um, have someone help us draft a capital improvement plan for roads. Just kind of identifying the worst spots, getting projects lined up so that when grant, yeah, when grant applications come um, out, we can say, okay, this one fits in this category of a grant application, this one, and our projects will be ready to either be engineered or whatever mm -hmm. um, the next step is. So I applied for a Better Back Roads grant um, for the money to hire Wyndham Regional to help us with that inventory. Um, so Wyndham Regional gave me a quote back, I can't remember when it was, for me to apply for the grant. And we were awarded just about $3,000. There is a match um, of like another $1,000. It was 20% or something like that. I can't remember exactly. I don't have the budget in front of me. but. Um, so they're going to help us, they're going to ride around with Brian for a couple days, we're going to identify some problem spots, they're going to map it, GIS all of our culverts again, they've done it once and just, but just kind of update that, um, and, that will, and then they'll help me with a capital plan um, 
for those projects. Every year they come out with structure grant applications. There's all these, and we get them, and it's like, okay, what do we want to do next? We just want to have a list available to yeah, us. Right, master. So in that's in what in that effect, is. have shovel ready projects, right. as it were. So that's the hope. Particularly for some of um, culvert replacement. Hopefully that culvert will. Um, so what I'm asking for tonight is for a permission to sign the grant agreement um, and to go ahead with the um, Wyndham Regional as the, the, I asked if there were other organizations or other subcontractors that were available to get a quote from for that and that Battle Rock Roads couldn't give me anybody. There was a couple people up north that used to do it. So they just said check with your local Wyndham, your local regional but commission. They, they, they yeah. have anybody as much or more data yeah. than anybody else has. So has anybody else in the neighboring towns done this recently? Not that I not have talked to. Have talked to. Okay. No. Well. Um, I mean, it sounds like a you know, perfectly logical thing to have these ready and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, in fact, I would think that we would be able to, if we have things sort of pre-engineered and thought out, you know, mm -hmm. we can keep kind of keep our eye open for bargains on yeah. culvert. You know, one town buys mm -hmm. three miles of culvert, finds out their next engineering report they can't use that right. size. And that stuff goes out there in the surplus market and whatnot, yeah. things like that. You know, I mean, I one I, of the things that, that, um, that uh, the training that I went to recently with a local um, Vermont local roads was that the structures grants. I think you can get up to one hundred and seventy-five thousand for those. You know, big box culverts, bridges, that kind of stuff. And one of the things that they suggested was get this done, and then. Um, you can apply for a certain portion of that structure grant for the engineering one year, right. then be ready for the next year for yeah. the actual application of the, the construction right. part right. of for it. The so, type thing. Yeah. So, so that's the so goal. So this is looking at that whole span from mm -hmm. running a 12-inch a, a culvert at the end of a, a driveway mm -hmm. to big box culvert, yeah. you know, river crossing. Yeah, one of the situation. one of the things yeah. that probably would have been identified in this process was the Hickory Ridge project mm -hmm. that we just did, the bank stabilization. Mm -hmm. That was a better back roads grant that paid for that. We just, Brian knew the project needed to be done. We applied for it last year. So, um, so we ended up using mostly our own labor um, for the 20% match and the rest of it was granted, so. Cool. What about that one, <clears throat> there was an email by Dr. Wood or something about mm -hmm. the uh, one on East, but, yeah. um, that was just part of our regular mm -hmm. maintenance, East oh, okay. Town Farm Road. That wasn't a Vermont Bad Roads? No. Oh, okay. Because didn't he have a link to that? He so had a link know? to Vermont Local Roads. Oh, I yeah. see. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, which we've <clears throat> util utilized Vermont Local Roads for quite a few <clears throat> things already. I've contacted them about a lot, but um, they're actually being turned over to be the state. They're going to be a state organization at this point. They're, they were segregated. Oh. So that program is changing a little bit, but um, so there is a distinction between Vermont back roads, the, and Vermont. better back roads, and Vermont local okay. roads. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So that's oh. what that grant is for. Now I make a motion that we approve Cynthia to sign that grant and agree to uh, to contract with Wyndham Regional for the land. The plan. The plan. <laughs> Very good. I'll second that. All right. Any other changes, additions, or further discussion? If not, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Ooh, some lucky person gets to paint this building, huh? So this was. This is just more of just starting this discussion because it, I know it needs to be done. And we're actually running out of summer times, so, but. Um, so I started with just a draft of what it was that we were looking for, but one of the things I was wondering is do we want to include the pump house on Sand Hill? And do we want to do anything with the shed out here the, behind the town hall all at the same time? Or do we, we want, I did, I, don't, I did take pictures of everything today. I don't know if you guys have seen any of them. I mean, I'm sure you all know they all need painting. Yes. I don't know if you need to see pictures to see where we're at, but. Um, or should I just stick with the town hall for right now? And one of the things I will need help with is just kind of giving each one a look through and what do we want to include. Um, I took this, another town manager, they just recently 
went out to bid for their town hall, so he sent me what he had put out, and I just kind of copied it. I didn't, it's not any brilliant thing I came up with. So there might be some other stuff in the, um, in the work to include that we need, so I would need that help from you guys. Um, uh, we did talk to, uh, Daniel's working right now on, we have the opportunity to get $10,000 for some more energy efficiency projects, upgrades, whatever we want to call it. So I was kind of holding off, waiting to find out what was going to happen with that because if we were going to do any blown-in insulation throughout the building. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we're being told that blown-in insulation in this building is about $30,000 and that to just do piecemeal isn't going to gain us anything. So like, because I said to him, well, we really want the bathroom because the guy from Farnham. Best, yeah. Farnham hasn't come yet. Um, the best guy from Sevka, he does the best, he does the, um, what do I want to say, it's the for-profit side of Sevka's weatherization program. Um, so Farnham is coming here. He did, there were some suggestions that he said for the bathroom. There's some air coming in from underneath the sink and he said you should definitely put some insulation in there, but to just blow the walls was not, it's not gonna gain us. That's an inaccurate statement at best. At, but. Um, I, I'm just telling you what he said. It, yeah, um, I mean, I would totally disagree. I think that if you're trying to if you're trying to heat the whole building, uh -huh. doing one little portion of it isn't going to do you any good. If you're trying to heat that bathroom, yeah. keep it warm, then insulating that bathroom. That's the difference sense. between it being yeah. insulated and not insulated. Yeah. Right. So we can go ahead. I mean, and, yeah, I think part of the ten thousand we wouldn't be able to use for that. We wouldn't be able. Not to the ten thousand for the energy efficient because we need to have somebody that's that's certified in, and unless Farnham says something different when it comes. In order to get the money from Efficiency Vermont, we have to have an energy audit for them to tell us what it is we need to have done. And he said he would not recommend doing that. So I'm just saying we could do right. it. It right. just would not be part of the $10,000 that we're getting from potentially. Efficiency Vermont. Well, yeah, I mean, again, I think that a discussion potentially could be have, had with him. I mean. I guess it depends on how you're looking at it. Uh -huh. If you're looking, if they're looking to put ten thousand bucks towards the, you know, most productive way of spending it. that ten thousand bucks, then I would say he's probably right. Yeah. But to say that sort of money being thrown away, I would not. I mean, I don't know whether that's what he said, but that's I would definitely disagree. I wouldn't so. say that it, he said it's money thrown away. It's probably what you just said is that you can't. The they have to do this. What is the ratio between what they're right. spending and what they're going to gain from it? Right. So the yes. payback period, yes. basically. Yeah. So for that, so I was waiting for that. So we could do whatever we want with our own money. Right. So that might be part of what it is we need to ask. That's what I'm saying is. Right. That's what yeah. I need help with here. Yeah. But that's why I hadn't done it yet yeah. because I was waiting for that to see if we could get some money somewhere mm -hmm. else to help with that part of it. Ooh. Was it the thirty thousand? Was that his cost estimate? That was an estimate we had back when. Is that um, when there was an audit? That's yeah. Was yeah. Which was when? Was that before? Because we've done the attic. Yeah. Is that was that previous to that? I mean, I'm not surprised no, by thirty thousand, but I'm just wondering. It was at the time. I don't know how long ago was that. It was five, four or five years ago that we did the work for the. The Wyndham Regional. One? Yeah. I think it was two thousand eleven. Yeah. So, so was that after we had done the ceiling or not? No, I don't think so. Because that ceiling only got done. Was it been done since I've been here? Wasn't that part of it? I think it was all part uh, yeah, of the Yeah, I think it time. probably was because that was grant right. money. That These guys who did in here. And, yeah, and yeah. in the basement and everything. So, and at that time, it was, that's the same time that it was bid at 30000 total. Is that right? Do you know? If it was part of that project, yeah, I if I don't know. If it was part of that project, then yeah. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen the thirty thousand on paper. Yeah. I don't really have any of that paperwork. Wyndham Regional has a lot of it, yeah. so um, that's the number he said the other day. I don't know where he. I, I'm under the assumption he got it from when we talked about it. Before Daniel agreed with it, if he wasn't, you know, so. I mean, at the same time, we had him go down to the fire. So the fire station is where we spend most of our heating money. Right. And I had him go down there, and that's just obvious that the upstairs isn't finished. So that's where we're losing a lot of the heat. But so I don't. 
I guess so tonight what I need to know is will can somebody help me with this work to include or is what I have here okay or and should I in the meantime call somebody to find out how much it would be to do the insulation in the bathroom I mean I, I'm, I'm just I'm just looking for guidance as to where I go next yeah um, well it depends I guess on what that Ten thousand bucks can be used for. Well, I think do we know. I think right now what Daniel is focused because the grant is due in a couple weeks. Yeah. I think it's he's focusing on um, the front door mm -hmm. and the back door because there's a lot of that sounds logical. Yeah. So yeah, which could eat up the bulk of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So for right now, I think he's focusing on. And maybe some a possibility of switching over all of our lights inside here to LED, that yeah. kind of some other Yeah. Um, yeah, that makes sense. So I think that's gonna be just to get that grant application in and get that money. Right. I mean I'm wondering if we should be just looking at the whole you know, this is the outside really, this painting details, the interior envelope here. I mean, there are a number of things to address here. I mean, we're still creaking along with this this furnace, yeah, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. You know, we're really in it, living in an era of air exchangers and things like that. That we could keep this building properly insulated. Properly insulated. That's the problem. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, but that's a doable thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a totally doable. But, but with plenty of money. But yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm speaking in that. But you know, to to plan for a building. Well, yeah. I mean, we you know we just finished. Pouring a lot of money, totally changing the heating system over in the central school. Right. You know. We, yeah. We 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 are you know we're obviously committed in this in yep. here to, to yeah. trying to make things work a little better. Well, I'm certainly not arguing that. <laughs> and you know, and, and and in part and parcel of that is also making the rest of this building accessible. Yeah. So you've got that three piece you know heat insulation access on the inside. And so is what yeah, you're saying right. that for right now we should work on just the painting project? Well, I, I project? think all we really have budgeted for is the painting project. Bank project. Yeah. So, uh, you know, rather than cheat ourselves on that by, you know, a less than perfect paint job, you know, at least, you know, we know the roof's going to hold on for a while. Mm -hmm. you know, we've got a new slate roof on there, fix the skin, and, and then start, start, the, start the process towards what to do next what to do with the rest of this you know how it's going to carry us into the next couple you know 100 years i mean that's not you know, to say we're that just if we paint here, it and we know? decide we do want to put insulation in the right we could also that. yeah we could also get a price on insulate i mean the problem with the insulating those walls is that they have the failing foam in them so right, really you taken. sort of have to take that out well, yeah because it's in order to do it whatever that that's what yeah it's just all, it's just all broken down yeah. I mean it just doesn't do anything and I don't think you can really effectively dense pack no that's right he did say that too is take that. out first and then you sort of have out. to yeah. so you know I mean we could get a bid on doing that and decide whether we want it you know it just seems to me it's sort of a crazy thing to have an electric heater running Basically, seven months out of the year in that bathroom to keep it to keep I think it. It was almost you know, eight. Hey, we've got it we've got our own solar array coming on. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm okay going yeah. into the bathroom yeah. without it on. I'm not in there long enough. Rub up on that roof for panels. I agree. But it wouldn't cost us that much uh, just, to, I mean, to do that. You food know? for thought. You know, on that. but it's. You know, it's it's a three-legged stool. It's you know, just oh, insulating is it going to fix our no, no, I'm going to fix the no, boat. I don't think that either. But well, what is the the? I mean, uh, what does it cost to heat this building right now? I mean, is it in projecting as a way compared to if it were properly insulated? I mean, is it is it like ridiculously expensive to heat this place? Well, I mean, let's just uh, yeah, let's well, just classify you know how like you want to heat it. Do you want yeah, to well, yeah, shiver so it or that's the problem? Um, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's keeping it from freezing. Right, keeping it from freezing <laughs> as opposed to. Let's just say that since I started as town manager, it's probably gone up because I don't like to be cold, <laughs> and Chris didn't mind being cold. I mean, yeah. I, we're constantly turning the heat up, so it's probably changed a little bit in the last couple of years because I don't, we do not like to be cold. But I can't remember. My only thinking is, I mean, and I, I'm sure it's not like this, but if it's if it's costing us ten grand, no, a no, year no, no. to heat this place. Last year it was twenty five hundred. 
20, okay. Right. Oh, we're cool. That's the problem. It's, it's hard to justify it. But it doesn't, right. it doesn't heat it effectively. For yeah, it's minutes. cold, and that's right. also really you could heating. You spend $5,000 a year and not heat it much better. I think you're right, yeah. I mean, take it, bring it up a couple degrees and spread it out a little bit more, but, yeah. You know, the bottom line is we're we're dancing around this historic building and the limitations that we put, first of all, on ourselves with with historic buildings, and that, you know, obviously this building needs, you know, go through, gut it, and start from the inside up, you know, if you want to really, truly insulate it properly and bring bring it up to up to snuff, and as you know, doing it historically is going to be considerably more costly. Yeah. So I wonder how much the we, how do we trade that? Town Hall just did it. They got blown in. I wonder how much theirs was. I'm going to find that out. I don't remember they did a pretty nice paint job on that. Thousand. Thousand. I mean, that's a big well, thing. They painted that. Actually, they did a pretty nice job. Um, is it painted? Well, the last one. Oh, the brown water. color? Yeah. Boy, it's coming off like crazy though. Well, that's well, who I got this from. They're paint. They're that's they're, should another be painted inherent soon. issue with some, with some of the you know all of the insulations. Right. Yeah. Um, you don't like the brown? You want to go back to white? I don't know. I kind of like it, but I was never a fan. Of I wasn't color. a big fan of the <laughs> color, but I liked the fact that it wasn't white. Oh, well, it's going back to white. Which I think was actually a little more, <laughs> a little more accurate. But that white well, village, that that white village look is definitely more you know later on yeah. in the nineteenth yeah. century. Than okay, so all right. So the first question is: is do we want to include the pump house and the shed, or are we just strictly talking town hall right now? Are you trying to streamline this process? A little bit. <laughs> the only um, thing I could say about the what, what the the uh, water building is that shouldn't we be just taking that out of capital from the water. Well, we would. I mean, I would. But, but while we have somebody but, here paying, do we want them to do it? In effect, right. Right. Are, 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 the customers, yeah. are yeah. the customers going to pay for painting it or is it or, or Oh, ours? capital. Because the water fund's in pretty good shape. I mean, I mean, I guess it depends on how much it is, but. Right. I haven't stopped and looked at it. I've looked at it when I've been driving by, but a couple people have said it really needs it and that it's going yeah, to start to. Yeah, it takes some beating along the side of the road there. It's, you know, it's, yeah. It's. So I would say yes. Enough. All right. My, I would say yes on the pump house and probably no on the shed. I mean, I don't. I, I again, right? I I'm thought we kind of this little shed right here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought we had kind of left that. That you know, we we're going to let Daniel have the shed to use, but the the money going into it was coming out of whatever he can generate for. Okay, it. that's what I remember too. Well, now, it was, it was I mean, asked if, we're gonna, if we're going to paint it, are we going to put a roof on it? Right. So we put a roof on it, we can fix the foundation. Yeah. Are we gonna, you know, are we going to Right, so maybe this shed is more of a budget discussion because he brought it again up to me again the other day about us possibly putting some money and work into that. So that's more of a budget right. discussion and for right now we have the pump house in the town hall. Yeah. Okay. Or or at least get numbers on them and see and yeah. decide where we're gonna go from there. Right. Um I can help you with this wording on this okay. if you want to. Right. Just you scrape draft to this. You want to just email it to you? Oh, yeah, I'll email it to you. Is scrape eliminating this? Or is yeah. it scrape now? And what about lead abatement? You probably that? set up the tarps. Well, we have to and, get a lead certified. Right. And, and, and it does it as you know, you use, yeah. uh, you know, like a, like a grinder head. With okay. A vacuum so, attached. So that would be, that should be included. Oh, in that's, in this yeah. or it'll not. be, it'll be. Stripping this building, you know, cleaning this thing up for a paint job is no small task. Yeah, that's, no, well, that's, that's the story of the work. That's right. the <laughs> biggest. Yeah. yeah. It's the worst okay. of it. I can do that. I will, so I'll send it to you. Yeah. Anything else? About? I don't think so. All right, what do you got for us? Um, I just was going to talk Excuse about, the, oh, the Hickory Ridge, the swimming hole, uh, Susan McMahon's area. Mm -hmm. I did talk to the insurance company, and they just feel like it's no different than us maybe like putting an apron on somebody's driveway. We go, you know, a little bit sometimes outside of our right away, and we improve it. Does that mean we're liable for anything that happens beyond it? No. No. So they were fine with it. And most of it, Brian went and looked at it, most of it's within our right-of-way anyways, yeah. work that we probably need to get done. So 
I guess it's just a matter of, you know, if we put a little bit extra there. <laughs> well, the, the well I think which, I mean, as it is now, there's one area that where it washed, and it's just, it's a big hole uh -huh. going down sort of between the stone abutment, and it's basically right on the path where people walk, and it obviously just sort of funneled out of there. And I'm sure Brian would, you know, I mean, basically it needs some sizable riprap or something in it, and mm -hmm. then gravel over the surface, and he's probably, there's a tree growing out of it. Mm -hmm. But it's like the kind of thing that if somebody slipped in there, they could, mm -hmm. they could chew themselves yeah. up Is pretty good. Is that part within our right of way? I would think, think so. Yeah. It's okay. pretty that's, close. Right, and that's the thing, because right underneath that hole is where the fire, fire exactly. intake is. Yeah. yeah, okay. So, so I would think there one that would be. Is there a right of way for all that? I mean, well, probably, probably, probably not technically, but we're 25 feet from the center line of the road, so it's probably right there, yeah. give or take two feet. All right, feet so I'm going to tell them to go ahead and, and work on that. Yeah. yeah, and they're probably going to want to take that tree out, I would assume. I don't know whether he's going to want to or not. I mean, you know, you sort of hate to because it provides shade right there, but at the same time, it's growing right mm -hmm. into the wall. It certainly is not helping the wall, so okay. I, you could ask him about that. But. Okay. And it seems like that would be the argument. If that continues to wash out and that wall collapses, it's going to collapse yeah. on that fire intake. Well, and that wall intake. is part of the town. Yeah, that's yeah I mean, the, the way he so, looked at it is you know, he felt like it was work they have to do anyway. Yeah, no, I yeah. agree. Yeah, no, yeah I, I mean, that's, what, that's the feeling I got from Brian. I didn't yeah. really look at it, but he was... Okay. Um, Don't put a heater in the water. It stayed cold, boy, all this rain. It was cold the other day. It's good, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Once you can finally get in. Um, I just wanted to update you guys on the um, Santa's Land Development Review Board hearing yesterday. Um, we went up there for a site visit. It was pretty calm. There was, you know, a few abutters were there and the applicants and the DRB and... Um, we, they brought it back here for the hearing, and at the hearing they have not, they continued it because the site plan wasn't adequate for them to make a decision. So they're giving her a little bit more time to come up with a better and site plan. Does them filing for bankruptcy affect their interest in doing this at all? No, I haven't discussed it with the applicant because it, the, you know, whether someone can afford a project or not has no bearing on what I needed to know. So, but she hasn't right. said anything. So, me. but that hasn't changed. No. Okay. So, um, I did receive quite a few phone calls the other day. There was a, a message posted on Facebook to call select board members, town manager, Melissa Martin, Tom Goddard, and I don't think anybody got but got phone calls but me. So, but just so you're aware of what's going on, then you can answer. Um, I got a couple emails saying I can't believe you guys are going to allow a campground. Well, we don't really have, it's it's a process. If they follow, right. It's an application process, right. and if they follow the guidelines, then. Right. So, mm -hmm. um, everybody was pretty, you know, I had a couple of people that I called. It was a couple of people that were going to be protesting. They wanted to come into the site. I told them they were welcome to come in. They decided not to because they knew that they couldn't ask about the animal cruelty stuff. And well, yeah. yeah. So it was fine. Um, but just in case you get stopped somewhere and ask that question, mm -hmm. that's where it's at right now. I think it, it'll be the August Development Review Board meeting that she's supposed to come back to. It won't be, it'll be noticed, but it won't be noticed in the paper like it was the last time because it was a continuance. So we don't have to really notice it um, as a That's that. Um, and then I have such a, oh, I didn't grab the warrants. So I did print um, financial reports. These are the, this is the year end report um, for FY14. I haven't had a chance to completely go through it. The audit is scheduled for the first, second week in August, something like that. So after I get back from vacation, I'm going to put my focus on the financial stuff and get this done. Um, but I thought if I gave it to you guys tonight, if you look through it, if you see anything that looks odd, have questions about where we're, if we're overspent, 
something looks out of line. The only thing that I think really I'm going to have to come back to you guys about is this fire station roof. I really am not sure what I'm with the fifty-one thousand dollars being spent. Where, it's where on the last pa uh, page nine. Um, we received twenty-two thousand dollars in insurance reimbursement, and we spent fifty-one thousand. So the question, with the, even that expense that was not budgeted, we're still within budget for the year. So we're very close to being like, we don't really have, it's like $1,800, I, I, the last time I calculated it, as to what our surplus for this fiscal year is, not continuing forward surpluses. So a decision needs to be made whether we want to move money from that debt service fund or the capital fund, I just really haven't got it clear what we can do at the select board level and what's at that voter level. Um, or if we even want to do it. If we want to just kind of hold out and see how this year goes and then ask the voters, you know, create the mm -hmm. budget where we're, we're going to transfer some money over to kind of catch up with this expense. Um, I'm kind of kicking myself a little bit for not making them hold off until August to do the roof because then I wouldn't be in this situation. It would be in the year that we're, right. that we're currently in, but we just couldn't wait anymore. That was being negligent, so. I think it's probably prudent to have it against the roof. Yeah. <laughs> you know, have it done as soon Now, I know we discussed, you know, what it was, we had a 20 year life on the roof and prorating out of capital replacement of it for a nine year period or something like mm -hmm. that. So that I realize that's not the entire amount, yeah. but it, it, it puts, the, it's another number that's reduced off of that that would seem, yeah. that, that struck me as a. Yeah, and I'm just kind of, I'm just wondering because we're not in a deficit situation right now and really until we know what we have for delinquent taxes that we get in in the next six weeks, I'm not really going to know exactly what our financial position is as far as our surplus or deficit for the year, but I just feel like we can hold off a little bit on right. deciding I mean, what to do with this. took it off of the, the warning. The warning, yeah. You know, with the basic comment saying, you know, essentially there probably will be enough money left to cover this. Yeah. Then we're going to try and just find it within yeah. the budget and whatnot. So I think. Do you, do you so I guess in a way we, you know, we we have explained it to the voters, but I mean, we just gonna have to really make it clear again, you know, why well, we're going through this process yet again yeah. if we bring it up next year. Well, I, I mean, if we hold off for that six weeks, do you have to close? Does the books are closed right now? I can. So it doesn't matter. I can you can stuff. go back yeah, and I can, alter I can it. Go back. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't, I, I would say yeah. if your inclination is to sort of wait it out and see what yeah, happens. Yeah, I kind of wait it out and I kind of really want to have a discussion mm -hmm. with the, the accountant too. Yeah. And say, what, you know, what is What do you your, recommend? Yeah. yeah. Um, what is the difference again? Uh, well, 20, it was, we got 51 and we, I mean, we got 22 and we spent 51, so. Yeah, the 22. Okay. So, otherwise, pretty much we are right at budget. You know, there's some overages. Um, we ended the year with $300,000 in the bank, but it really was because we had money from yeah, other funds that were kind of carrying ourselves. So we don't have to borrow any money to pay bills unless we don't get tax bills out soon. Um, so that would be good. And um, I think that delinquent taxes, I think, will be... We'll be okay. But we're gonna we're, we will be scheduling tax sales within the next. I think they're going to be in August. We just gotta pick a date. So that's the that's the trial balance for last fiscal year. And then I did print a current one just so you can start with the new budget um, for this year. Um, I haven't spent much yet. We're working on it. <laughs> Just trying to see if there's anything that I needed to explain in here.
I am going to try to start putting, um, just in an effort to try to beef up the website a little bit and just offer more information, I'm going to start putting these when I give you guys one, I'm going to put it on the website so that people can look at it if they want. I think the more people that look at it, the, the better we get at, at just making sure we're doing things. Well, I like having a lot of people look at the numbers so because I, I look saying, at them all so the time. So when I get that call at 10, 1030 at night, so I'm saying somebody's up late reading you this can, and wants to know about this call. line, I have your cell phone number. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just so it's out there, this open meeting law stuff that, that we've been here, I don't know if you guys have read it in the paper and people taking their websites down and stuff, I feel like it has made us become, I think it's done exactly what the law was intended to do. We had, the select board, we haven't had to tweak much what we do because the only difference is putting it on the website quicker and putting the agenda, but we've done that most of the time. But our smaller boards and commissions, they, I mean, they've been so receptive to getting us the minutes and getting us the agenda. This is the first time in a long time we've had agendas and minutes, and mm -hmm. and so I think it's, I, I haven't, I don't know, unless I'm missing something major. I think it's mm -hmm. been a good thing. So I'll probably be tarred and feathered by people that are taking their websites down because they don't think mm -hmm. it's a good thing. But I just. I think it's it made us more that, transparent. That people remember what exactly minutes minutes are. Mm -hmm. You know what they're an expression of. They're not. They're not an editorial. They're not. Yeah. You know, a, a, a verbal word by word commentary. They are to you know express the actions taken. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel for Mary. Last and night whatnot. she was taking minutes at the DRB. We had five hearings. And I'm thinking, oh, poor so woman, she has to have two these to us with it. But she's typing them, and I said it's a draft. You know, just send us your draft. Yeah. No, and then if there's any big complaints that can be addressed. Yeah. yeah I, I really have not had an issue. Here's is this all there is for? Yeah, the one from today. And while you're signing that, just so you know, I did ask Dan Toomey to come to a meeting. Mm -hmm. um, he couldn't come to this one, but he'll be at the next one. I told him what we were looking for. and um, Oh, good. He'll have all the answers then, right? <laughs> I keep looking at their website to see if they've updated I anything. I haven't seen anything. They did send us some type of paperwork to fill out for the recycle something. I don't So apparently there's still the that was things that happen there. Yeah. That it implied they would have them there? Right. Well, there's somebody in agreement that we have to oh, sign course. saying it's okay to keep them, keep them there. So now they plan to keep them there. And I will be on vacation next week. Good for you. Where are you going? You know where fun or <laughs> your backyards? <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> going north. In the right. woods where there's no internet connection. There you go. Right. There you go. That's and the fishing excellent pole choice. and the kayaks and nice. a couple books. And you'll be around to no kids. pull things together. No sure. kids. All right. <laughs> no kids? No, nope, they're staying home. They don't want to come. Well, would you if you were 20? Come home and go, go to camp with your mom and dad. No, or 16 for that matter. Yeah. Be like, no, mom and dad are out of the house. <laughs> Stay here. So plus, they have to work. There you go. Good. Speaking of work, how are things at the pool? Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, Security, that's what Jennifer just dropped off. I guess it's a note <clears throat> to you, but a concern that. She had had. Oh, okay. About the pool? About, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do, or, um, do you want me to take it? Or you want to talk well, about it? Well, it's addressed to you. Yeah, okay. she just handed it to me. Because <clears throat> she said she was going to say something, and I guess she, she knew we were meeting tonight, so she did it. And oh, okay. She was a little hesitant because someone, you know, works there and okay. didn't want there to be repercussions to her or anything like that. Do we want to go into executive session to talk about it? Um, is it a, or do you want me to just deal? Perhaps with it? I think if you, I think it's one. I think it's something that you can deal with. Okay. But uh, I think one of the recommendations. It was a really fascinating 
and a little bit scary uh, thing on NPR about pool lifeguards. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think one of the recommendations she had is that everyone sit down and listen to it. Okay. So, but yeah. You can. Uh, my son recommended. Oh, I like it when I get recommendations. That they're that they implement some no splash zones. He okay. said one of his frustrations with swimming there is anywhere you are, you are you. likely to be targeted heavily. He said, you know, maybe the thing to do is to have, you know, splashing in the middle area, yeah. but not in the deep end and not in the shallow end. Or I certainly would think in the shallow end, they wouldn't, because I would think that was where lots of the little kids are. Yeah. Exactly. No, he said, he said it's very frustrating because you get in and immediately, and he yeah. said the only way to stop it from happening is to be splashing harder, you know, so that... And he's not into it at all. He was like, but I didn't have a choice. I had to splash back, otherwise they just won't swamp me. So, um, so he asked that you you tell him I will look at the the splash situation and see what. Well, they shouldn't be splashing be. really all the time at all. That's anyways. what I said. I mean, I know. I mean, there shouldn't I'm be. One, 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 yeah, once in a while, a kid might yeah, exactly, go and whatever, get right. you, but, but if it's a constant thing, that's what he said. So you know, he may have been. I don't know. You may have been exaggerating. I wonder how things would be if I went up and sat there for a day. Probably pretty quiet that day. Yeah. Get a whistle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so things I thought were doing better at the pool, as far as the money-wise and some other mm -hmm. things, yes, that's been better. Somebody did jump the fence last night, throw all the chairs in the pool. My daughter got there this morning, took a picture, and said, uh-oh. <laughs> they, they pushed a picnic table up to the side, and... Yeah. yeah. I said, have fun getting That's a periodic, right? One of the yeah, kids so. said, too, he went by there after hours, and there was, I don't know if he was making this up, but said he, there were people skinny dipping in there. Was the light on? I'm wondering if the motion lights were on. I don't know. I don't know. Because that is a bright light, mm -hmm. and you can only turn it off in the pump house, and it's locked. Maybe they like skinny dipping in the light. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Find one of these fake video cameras, right? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> All right, I will take care of those things. The, just so you guys know, and maybe this so the general public knows, the goal, and I have to make it a priority, the goal next year is to hire a pool manager that has their lifeguard certification that is um, there 35 hours a week. So that they're there most so of. Somebody's yes. Really responsible. All the yes. Time. Yeah. Because it is a difficult situation when you have a group of um, kids up there trying to do what it is that they're doing, and it is a it's an important job, and and it's difficult when you get one or two that are just there, kind of just to gather a paycheck. Right. To have they need somebody that can tell that person that's not right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if if I'm not there or there, you know, happening. it's not happening. And I get why some of them are not. You know. You, you can't. There needs to be somebody in charge up yeah. there. Yeah. And so it's gonna. It'll be talked about at budget time because we're going to have to pay somebody more than what we pay to do that. So I do have. There was one person that has has contacted me um, that would probably be good. She just needs to recertify. So and we'll put an ad out. We didn't do that this year. We should have. Is there? So is it? How does the insurance for that, does that just fall under the umbrella of the town or whatever? Yeah. yeah so it wouldn't necessarily, I mean, if you had someone, a manager, you know, a qualified manager, that wouldn't protect, you know, lower your premiums at all or anything like that. I don't think it's so, no. Okay. Yeah. No. Um, and there may be a switch in how many lifeguards we have. We may have two lifeguards at a time instead of three. Mm -hmm. and then yeah, have yeah. them take breaks instead of do this rotation mm -hmm. process that yeah. can help save money plus give them a break and take people, breaks where the pool shuts down yeah that's what, when I was when I went to the town pool when I was a yeah. kid it was every hour and 15 minutes we were out of the pool for that's 15 same minutes Vernon does it that way yeah I'm pretty sure they yeah still do. and have a couple mm -hmm. people that are just gate guards because then mm -hmm. I know who's handling money 
you know, but. it's very, it's a little loosey goosey for me, but you know, and I do have to say the times I've gone up there, that place is mobbed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, and I, we've got, maybe we need to look at that too. I don't know if there's a, you know, is there anybody saying, okay, we've, or is there a maximum? maximum. Yeah. You know, a lot of times it's a lot of people, not a lot of people in the pool. In the water, right. Yeah. yeah. So. And some of it goes in, I mean, I sat there just for the heck of it for an hour. Yeah. Yesterday, I think it was. And, um, you know, it was dead for, yeah. for the, most of the time I was there, and then all of a sudden all the grammar school kids showed up, you know, and all of a sudden yeah. you have 20 more kids right. in there and stuff like that. So, yeah. definitely goes in cycles. And she did mention in here the closing of the, the pool. They have been calling me when the weather's mm -hmm. bad. And it's a judgment call at this yeah. point. You know, I look at the weather. Um, is there... Because if, if, if it's four o'clock in the afternoon and it thunders, they have to wait a half an hour. Right. Then it thunders again 15 minutes later. Then you look at the weather and it's just supposed to do that for the next two hours. Then I get home and the sun's shining. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know? You can't so, that you can't that so it's one of those things nice. you just say, go home, or mm -hmm. do I have three lifeguards sitting there that I'm paying? Right. Mm -hmm. in case the weather gets better for an hour that night. So mm -hmm. it's been kind of a judgment call. Zach has gotten much better about calling me and asking mm -hmm. me and getting permission. Um, but, you know, like That's the other good, day he called me, I was in That's team. a good time to catch up on those other tasks that need doing around the shop. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's, you know? it's, that stuff is I mean, getting I, done. I, right, yeah. no, but I mean, I make it very clear that if, yeah. if you're, you're shutting down at but, 4 o'clock for thunder, that, you know, everything should be ready to... Right, but part of that is they can't go out on the deck when they can't be out there. Okay. You know, so I mean, so it's it's just a balancing act. There's just doing the best you science. can. Yes, you can do about that. Yeah, but there's yeah. Yeah. Who would have, who would have thought that the, the pool would be one of the biggest? I never, bigger, bigger I've said that. it the last three weeks that I, the pool, out of everything I do, mm -hmm. that has been the most challenging. Just because, I, it's because I can't be there. Right. Yeah. Um, the, the swimming lessons are going great. <laughs> Good. Yeah. People are signing up and signing up again and well, kids are really like liking we're it. We're just going to have to fund it appropriately to cover all our bases. Yeah. yeah. And you know whether that cost comes out of all of the taxpayers or we increase fees or whatnot, well, a little bit of both. That's yeah. the one thing yeah. that I think people need to. There are this, right. what, this what, business what of costs, this you know? business of signing in and saying you have a membership and not have a membership just is having to track somebody down for a fifty dollar membership because they keep signing in as a member and they know they don't have a member. Mm -hmm. A membership is just wrong. Yeah, it's, yeah, well, it's just irresponsible because yeah, it it's costs just, more than everybody else. Yeah. And, you know, it's we've, we've tightened down on it. We've, we've, some people have come forward and paid, and, but it's, but you're right. The fees are really low, really, for what, compared to other towns. So. It's, I mean, it's the best 80 bucks a season we spend. Yeah. You know, a lot of hours. Kids yeah. are there a and lot the swimming and lessons, $25 yeah. a week yeah. is just, yeah. Do and I don't want it to be more. I want it, I would like right. to, right. yeah. You want to keep it affordable. So, okay. That's enough about that place. <laughs> Sorry. It is beautiful up there. I mean, it's. Yeah, it's nice. It's really nice up there. All right. All right. Anything else? We don't have any executive session or anything? Nope. 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 Very good. I'll accept the motion to adjourn. So are we done? Yeah. Seven. All right. Wow, six twenty. Yeah. Well, we can't say the Lord. We didn't spend much money. We didn't. You know. Got to come up with something. Everything else was fairly straightforward. Fairly straightforward here. Mm -hmm.